ladies and gentlemen welcome on in today we are going to be pack punching every single keynote or totem black ops one weapon it is a christmas stream we are a couple days from christmas i'm watching a way of water review by chris stuckman but boys let's get into keynote or totem black ops one the best zombies map of all time Just we're playing it right now listen this map is pretty dark listen you know we're going instantly for that quicker vibe. The Prony does nothing in this game. I forgot. Listen, I might have some shaders that might not look like Black Ops 1, but I assure you, this is Keen Order to Black Ops 1. But let's get into it. We have 30 weapons to pack a punch. Now, on World at War, I didn't even get to 22, and that was all there was. I got to 11. And honestly, World at War to Reese, I just can't handle it. Let me know. Comment down if I should redo World at War again, but for the Christmas holiday season, I gotta end the year off bringing you guys some classic Keynote or Toten Black Ops 1 Zombies gameplay. And you know I'm buying the M14 on round 2, boys. Okay, listen, M14 gang, you can rejoice, you can be happy. Where's my gobblegum machine right here, bro? I'm looking for the gobblegum machine. Uh, but yeah, let's name all of the weapons that we have to upgrade so far. Because like I said, there's 30 of them. There's a lot. So starting off, we have the M19, uh, 11 obviously, and the starting room wall weapons being the M14 and the Olympia. And then more wall weapons around the map are the PM63, the Stakeout, the MP40, the MP5K, the MPL, the AK-74U, which I always forget is on the wall in this map, to be honest. I always kind of forget that. Um, and then after that, we have the M16, and that is the last wall weapon. And then on to the box weapons, we have the AUG, the Ballistic Knife, the China Lake, the Commando, the Crossbow, the CZ-75s, and I know there's always a common debate if you should do both of them, the dual wield, or just the single fire. And listen, I'm more of a single fire gamer, so whatever one we get will count as that for the CZ-75s. Uh, then we got the Dragonov, the FNFAL, which is, I mean, the, this is the first game it came into. This is the classic. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm, we're swapping the M14. They don't want me to use, they don't want me to use the M19 anymore. We're using the M14. The FAMAS, the OG version, which is not as good as the BL3 one. Uh, what else do we have? The G11, the Galil, the HK21, the HS10, the L96A1. The M72 Law, which is going to be awful, upgraded. The Python, the Raygun, the RPK, the Spass, and lastly, the Thundergun. So that is all 30 weapons that we are going to be pack-a-punching today. And honestly, Kino's a good map to get a pack-a-punch done. And I, I said I wanted to do this on every single Zombies map. Let me know if I should do it on every single Zombies map or every single Zombies game. Because like I said, I think Kino's the best map to do it on here. If I were to do this challenge on Shangri-La, I don't think I'd last past round 6. I'm not going to lie. Uh, because, I mean, at least on solo, it is pretty easy to get to the pack bunch there. Maybe I would be able to do it on Shang. But Kino, I mean, dude, it's literally just hit this teleporter here at the bottom. Go to the teleporter, pack a bunch of the weapons, and you're done. Like, that is literally it. You really don't have to do a lot. Uh, and honestly, it's kind of crazy because the last time I played this map co-op was with Deji. I uploaded some TikToks uh, with with Deji. Uh, it was so it was so much fun. I love that. I got to be careful again. We are on the two-hit system, so anything can change in a matter of seconds. Anything can change. Oh, I thought I was about to die right there. I actually thought I was about to be over right then and there. I went a little bit too close to that zombie. There we go. Get that max. Beauty max ammo. Yeah, I definitely love the max ammo more in BO1 than World of War. This game did it right. It is now round five. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna preemptively go for it. And honestly, I'm gonna treat this like my last game of Darice and pack a bunch of the wall weapons first. We got a dog round. This is a great round to be heading out on because listen. The wall weapons are going to be dropping off really, really fast. And I also am going to say that I'm going to be prioritizing a bunch of health um, over anything. So I think we should go for Jug here. But yeah, dude, the dogs in BO1 compared to World of War, like, bro, you know if these were the World of War dogs, it'd be like two clips to take out one of these guys. But nah, bro. 
it's like it's not even a half a clip to take out these dogs man these guys are a joke compared to what i was dealing with back on the reese man only one map before power on by round six let's go let's get the pack punch started but yeah honestly right now it's just a race to 12.5k points because i'm gonna go instantly for the m1911 i'm gonna go instantly for the upgraded version and listen i know i could have done this without the nova crawlers uh but the thing is is like actually no i couldn't have done this without the nova crawlers because the nova crawlers you need to activate to hit the core on the other side but uh yeah honestly first thing we're gonna go for here easily is juggernaut i'm going in for the safety measures i go by claymores there are a bunch of little other unique weapons that you can buy but as if I don't got a pack a bunch of them, I ain't gonna waste my money because all this really is, is a point challenge. That's really what pack a bunch boils down to. Uh, but the nicest thing is about BO1 is that the pack a bunch weapons will be way stronger than the ones that I was having in World of War. For the most part, I would say. At least for the wall weapons. Like, I expect the M14 upgraded to at least bring me past round 15. I'm not expecting even round 20. But round 15 is a lot. And yeah, I'm going to use my M1911. We are going to slowly gather these points. I have massive double points here. This is huge. Honestly, I think I might... I'm going to throw a nade. I'm a Ooh, I thought I was about to die right there. I thought I was about to die right there. I'm throwing a nade. We're getting all the points in here. We're going to get Jug. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to get Jug before it's too late. We're going to throw both of these nades out here. Double points is going out. I got to buy Jug. Look how many points we just got from literally 2.5 to 5. Buy Jug. Get me out of here. Reload the weapon. I did kind of waste the double points. I realized I could have done this later. But hey, that's all that matters. Big new. Let's head around and then we'll pick it up. Easy 400 extra points. But yeah. Honestly, I think I'm actually going to upgrade the M14 first. I need a weapon that can basically take them down. So yeah, we're pretty close about, uh, what is it, 1,400 points away from our first pack punch. And yeah, compared to Darius where you got to open up the whole map, it takes you like till round 10 to get your first pack punch weapon. I'm about to get my first pack punch weapon on round 8 on King of the That's the best zombies map of all time right there, man. Come on. Uh, but yeah, the, the Amnesia... The upgraded M14, it's going to be amazing. And yeah, once we get rid of this, Olympia will be next. We'll go for the shotguns. It's going to be hard to get some points out of these weapons, but hey, this is the only way we're going to make it out here. Yeah, let's uh, use M1911. Yeah, I feel so much safer now with Jug. Like, that is just the nature of all games from World at War to BO3, I would say. As soon as you get Jug... You're just a happy man, dude. Everything, everything makes sense. Everything becomes clear. Everything becomes 2020 vision. See, I knew not to run into that zombie over there. Okay, I might honestly, I might have to pack a bunch early here because I'm really using everything I have here. All my nades. Yep. This is looking like an early type of pack bunch here. Okay, let's go. I can't believe we're doing this. Here we go, M14 is going to be our first pack bunch weapon. I think I also have enough points to buy some nades here. Hey, that is huge. Let's go. And there it is, our first gun, the Amnesia. I mean, listen, most people have known what the M14 is like when you upgrade it. So it's a great gun. The range is great. The damage is pretty good, too. There's a zombie over there. What is going on here? Yeah, I definitely need Speed Cola now, though. Um... We're looking for any more of these guys. Oh, a big max ammo. I got to make it there. Does that end round? Oh, end of the round right at the end. Oh, can I grab anything here? It swapped my FOB. No, the tape isn't in there in that room. I love the keto pad for that. It just adds all these like random rooms. Okay, dog round, but I already have a max. Am I going to make it to it though? Ooh, go, 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 go. Yes, let's go. Oh, yeah, this thing upgraded is crazy. Crazy. But, yeah, as, honestly, I'm not really going to keep the Mustang and Sally's, I think, for too long. As soon as that boy is upgraded, I'm going to spam all the ammo from the top of the Keto Pack Bunch room. <laughs> and literally go straight for the Olympia and, like, a point gun. Once this guy is out of ammo. Because, yeah, 
Once they... Oh, I forgot to grab it. See, I'm used to Black Ops 4 and Cold War where it just automatically gives you the ammo. I just wasted ammo. I didn't I didn't reload before the max ammo. This is truly Black Ops 1 gameplay. Uh, but yeah, can I link this again? It does not take this teleporter that long to cool down. But yeah, I probably should be going now uh, each time to pack a bunch of two weapons at a time. That would probably be the better option just because it's going to take me 15 teleports. Or now 16. So I've teleported once. Yeah, it's going to take me 16 teleports total if I do two weapons every time from here on out. Which is... I mean, that is kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. No no way you put it. That's crazy. I think if I go next time and just upgrade the M uh, M1911s, I should be all right. It's just making sure that I have a point weapon, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to use all of this ammo for points. Yeah, it's wild because, listen, when I used to play Kino to Toten as a kid, I remember getting to round 30 was like a massive accomplishment. And that was like with the best wonder weapons. That was like... With the ray gun. Oh, I down. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's going to set me back a bit. But I'm all right. I should have enough instantly to grab for jug and quick revive. Wonder what happened though. I gotta, yeah, I got to be super careful, dude. Oh yeah, we're not going for jug. Let's go for quick revive first. Let's make it a safe run. Yeah, honestly, I think grabbing speed cola is also going to be a massive priority here. I might also grab double tap. Like, and seeing that I got to round 30 as a kid on this map with Wonder Weapons, this challenge is going to be hilarious because I'm probably going to go past round 30 with, like, everything but the Wonder Weapons. So I guess it goes to show, like, I guess how much I've improved throughout the years, which I think is funny. You know what? Nobody ever does this. I'm buying Speed Cola first. This is going to incentivize me prioritizing Jug if I buy Speed Cola first. Nobody plays Call of Duty Zombies like this. Who plays Call of Duty Zombies like this? Literally who? And yeah, listen, I know Double Tap is not the better variant on this map. Oh, man, that boy was fast on my heels, bro. Okay. Big Carpenter actually is going to help. But yeah, having Speed Cola is just going to make everything better. And... Even though Double Tap wastes ammo, I think it really just depends on the weapon that you buy. Because if you get Double Tap for like a fully auto weapon and all you want to make is points, Double Tap can be helpful. So, I think that's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, we're going to be rocking the PM63s this game. Oh, I'm going to buy Jug. We just got enough right now. There we go. See, now I don't even got to worry about perks until Double Tap. Until I get that PM63 and getting an extra 2k points at that point. Oh, it's going to be easy. Yeah. So, now, it is time. Ooh, it's actually time to hoard. I'm running out of ammo on this M14. Yeah, it's time to literally get the Mustang and Sally's. Once I get that, it'll be really, really easy, I think, to just continue on with this strat. And yeah, this, just shooting into the horde on BO1 gives you so many points. That's one of the awful parts about trying to do a pack bunch of every weapon challenge on BO4 or Cold War, the point system is not like this, so when you have a bad gun, it actively detriments you, which is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard of, to be quite honest. It's literally just stupid. Okay, yeah, I'm fully out of ammo now, so yeah, we're gonna have to legitimately knife here. This really is not good. I need a max ammo pronto, or I'm gonna be knifing for the foreseeable future oh my gosh i'm literally about to die to crawlers let's relax oh my goodness okay yeah literally next round i have did some insanely successful grenades or it's not happening thank goodness that knifing gives you points oh and a big nuke there okay i didn't expect that okay four grenades 1200 points this is possible this is possible no ammo, though. Yes, I can't make a single mistake in my hoarding. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be the grenade round, literally. We're going to be grenading them with our grenades. We're going to be upgrading the mess thing and Sally's and then shooting that down. This is only grenades, round 12. Let's do it. I need to find some letter. Let's I'm see if I can make it. Here. But yeah, I think for sure, with all the pack bunch teleports that we're going to be needing to get 30 weapons popped, I think the best plan of action... 
will definitely just be to get rid of the power weapons first. Or get rid of the M1911 first and a lot of the bigger power weapons. And the wall weapons. And then go for box weapons. I think box weapons you always want to go last. Because they usually have the better weapons in them. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay, I'm down to one nade. And I need a lot of points. This is actually not going to work. I think it might be time to get rid of the M14 here. Okay, well, M14 is done. It is time. I'm going to buy the M16 on the wall here. Yep, I need just a couple extra points. And why not? We can just get rid of the M16 on this one, too. This is a great point weapon here. Yeah, the M16, I can't... This one turns into the Skull Crusher. Black Ops 1 seems to be the name of the game I remember the most pack mushrooms for. The M16 is the Skull Crusher, and then the M1911 is the Mustang and Sally. If you were to ask me for most of the later games, like what the pack bunch name of the BO4 weapons are, oh my goodness. Most of the time, I can't even remember. But uh, here we go. About 5k. I think I'm going to end the round here, and then we'll go for the Mustang and Sally pop. Or should we wait? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to buy ammo. Let's play this conservatively with the pack bunches because that teleporting cooldown is going to be a problem later on, bro. I do not want to I do not want to wish that. Okay, dog round easy. It might be nice to get claymores later on, but listen, I don't think I need to worry about it right now. Also, double tap. You know what? Because I'm going to wait until 10k. Wow, why is it so bad? M16 is terrible against the dogs. What happened? Oh my. I don't remember this thing being so bad against the dogs. Why is this just the worst thing that's ever been made for the dogs? I'm using the whole ammo. I'm not even going to... What? I didn't even end it. I have to buy ammo for this thing. Oh my... Wow. I did not expect this thing to be so bad against dogs. Oh my goodness. I really don't remember that for some reason. That is so strange. Okay, let's go and buy Double Tap. This will be for the fully automatic weapons later on. I know some people might be literally cringing at me for doing this, but... I think it'll just help, man. It'll just help for the long run. I'm not doing any high round strats here we're just doing pack lunge at every single weapon yeah classic i i mean listen i know i have different shaders but this is double tap 1.0 i know for 100 percent. i know a lot of people are like those aren't the original black ops one shaders for the perks yeah i know you don't want to be looking at the same old uh pee pee poo poo ones and also i probably left it on from a mod that i had double points is huge here let's get all of the points that we need big knife here Get the heck on out of here. Double points. Me to a new life. Oh, don't I die here. Yeah, I got to spam into this double points. Don't lose a single point. No. Oh. Ooh. Oh, the clutch. I really did not expect to do that. And I'm extremely lucky for even making it out. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Nades are coming down. Nades are coming down. We really need to upgrade the Mustangs here. Because, dude, round 14 and we're struggling? This is kind of crazy to me. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna grab that nuke when I hit 9,600 points. And then we're gonna pack a bunch of both these weapons. And then there's just gonna be no more problems. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be beautiful. Almost there. Two more, two more shots. There we go. And that is how you get both the weapons pack punched. There's another drop I hear. An insta. This is actually going to be good if it lasts, but here we go. M1911 and M16 down with this next one. Oh, I forgot to initiate the pat. I was like, we're making it. Go, go, go. Okay, good thing I have insta kill on. This is what insta kill was really for to turn on the pat. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. I mean, I could have bought a mule kick. I just realized I could have bought Mule Kick. However, Mule Kick, I think... Listen, if I down, I'll buy Mule Kick. But I think Mule Kick would have made it a little bit more challenging. But here we go. M1911 now. 
is a part of our second gun. Here we go. The Mustang and Sally's. And our third weapon here is the Mustang and Sally. I love that. So the greatest part about the Mustang and Sally is literally you just do this. You have to make sure you don't kill yourself by hitting this rail. But, you, but honestly, other than that, this does the job right here, okay? I mean, it's unfortunate, though, that, like, they don't actually pop up uh, a lot of the times when, the, when you're coming for the spawn. Bring me to a new room. Hey, is there an disc here? I'm holding for it. Hey, we got it. Nice. Let's go. Okay, yep. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, we did forget one spawn room weapon, and that is the Olympia. And so, oh, I forgot about the grenade launcher on the M16 here. This is so weird. Yeah, I remember this was such a big feature. People actually use that. It's kind of bad. So, I mean, whatever. M16 is going to give me tons of points here. Hey, big max ammo too. Yeah, we just needed a better weapon. We needed a weapon that just did damage. Because what we were getting before was not that. Oh my goodness. I just sort of lagged out there, but hey, we're good. Next two weapons, yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna preemptively set this thing up here. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get this pack punch going, because I think the next two weapons I'm gonna do are really bad ones. We're gonna do the Olympia and the PM63, and I'm counting all these, I'm writing all these out, which is why I'm a little, I'm kind of paused, because listen, I'm not gonna remember 30 weapons of which I've pack a bunch of which I've not, it's just too much. So yeah, let's use this as a point round. And then when we pack a bunch, I'm going to literally... Oh, I can't. I need to bring two weapons. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of the Mustang and Sally's. It's really not a good thing to have on Pino. There's no PhD. It's too dangerous, I feel like. So honestly... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of these things. I literally wasted like all the ammo already. But yeah, Olympia and PM63 are next. Listen, I know about the Olympia gang. But I gotta pack much in either way. Ain't nobody... Listen, I gotta... It, it, there's no discrimination when you gotta pack much every gun. Alright. I know some people hate the Olympia. I know some people hate the M14. But hey, we're doing them both. So y'all can hate all you want. But we're gonna make it. Okay. I'm gonna use the grenade launcher once these two boys die. Let's see how much this does. It's kind of bad. I mean, it does give you points. It does get? Yeah, it does give you points. And yeah, I do. I do give them credit. I've been noob tubing these guys for like five years, and they're still coming at me. Definitely not some Modern Warfare 2 noobs. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Olympia. Goodbye, M1911. It's been real. It's time for Olympia PM63 gameplay, which is just abysmal saying out loud. Like, there's going to be a point in about a minute's time now, once I get, uh, like, what, like 11,500 11, points to buy the PM63 up there, that I'm going to have dual PM63 and an upgraded Olympia. I mean, who even... Does the Olympia even one-shot right now? Let's see. No, not even a two-shot. Barely a three-shot. Oh, that's just despicable. I mean, what did you expect from a starting room wall? Shotgun. I mean, not much, bro. Yeah, shotguns really weren't treated that well, in my opinion, in the original zombies. It really took until, like, Black Ops... I mean, Blundergat doesn't count. It really took until, like, Black Ops 3 for shotguns to be really viable in zombies. Because in BO1, BO2, and as World of War, easily one of... The, they're almost as bad as snipers. Like, they just don't do any damage. Which is wild, because in the multiplayer versions of these games, those were arguably what did all the damage. Okay. There we go. Got just enough here. I think we might need just a couple more points, so I'm gonna spam my Olympia here. And yeah, I literally need to use the Olympia here. Good thing we're getting this out of the way right now, because listen, round 17, if I waited any longer, it would be way too long for now. But yeah, we're running back. Grabbing that PM63. I'm going to check if Mule Kick was there because honestly, I didn't see it. I am. Am I playing offline or online? I'm playing online. Oh, Mule Kick hey, is here. Player, oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I could have got it, but hey, don't matter. I just passed the PM63. Thank you, PM63. This is going to be a great point weapon, though, which I am really excited about. It's going to be a magnificent point weapon. Wow, and it's even killing. Wow, with a double points? 
Whoa, what's going on here? I do have to link the teleporter, I just realized. So let's go do that. Dang, the double points though is impressive. Yeah, and double tap. Just look at all of the money we are making up in here. Now we're back to the limp. And now we're back to the limp. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, did that one shot? No, that was a two shot. It's, so it's at least a two shot. I find if you shoot the Olympia too fast, some of the shots just don't even register or something. This gun is so bad. Okay. We're running here. I'm going to throw all my nades just in case they can die. Here we go. Nice. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I mean, I kind of did throw them in a bad spot. Oh, that was really close. Okay, the nicest part is they're all crawling back here, and they're going to go here. Nice. Let's go. Two more weapons out of the count. Honestly, I don't even remember the pack bunch names for the PM63 and the Olympia. Let's see. So here's number four, PM63. What is it called? The Tokyo and Rose. Yeah, I forgot about that. And the Olympia here. This is now the Hades. Yeah, how can I forget? It does shoot fire. That is the coolest part. I'm going to see if it has the range, though, to shoot from... Oh, it doesn't have the range. Does this have the range? Yeah, we are not long rangers, unfortunately. This is a short-range combo. Oh, I forgot to put in the disc in. Hey, it doesn't even matter. I'm going to be teleporting up there, like, 13, 14 more times at this point. It, don't even, it literally don't even matter. Uh, but, yeah. How is it? Oh, see, it does set them on fire. That is cool. A lot of the weapons in BO1 did have these, like, really unique features. Where they, like, the gun almost, like, completely changes when you put it in the pack punch machine. Which is what I love, man. That's what I missed about the pack. So, okay. Now that the PM63 and Olympia is done, we have to do the stakeout and the MP40 next. That is gonna be... Ooh. Stakeout? Okay, MP40 is going to be great for points. Stakeout? Not so much. I'm going to use the Hades here. Yeah, these... This is what I needed on that last dog round, bro. Yeah, the Olympia upgraded. Oh, these boys ain't got a chance. Y'all ain't got a chance. It's game over for you boys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this, dude. They don't even stand a chance. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, I mean, there's a way you can manipulate the dog spawns where they just spawn like over there and there. But hey, man, I don't even need to do that. We gaming. 5k points. Okay, so I'm trying to think of all the other weapons that we need to get off the wall here. The AK-74U is in the alley. Maybe I should do the AK. Mm, no, the MP40 and the stakeout are both over there. They're both literally, I believe, in the same room. So it would just make much more sense if I did that. And yeah, this Hades is going to run out of ammo fast. It doesn't even two shot on round nine or one shot on round 19. That's not right, dude. For a name called the Hades and it has a special fire effect. It doesn't even one shot on round 20. What? On round 19? Even? That's just not right. Dude, this is terrible. It doesn't even give me points. Easily one of the worst weapons. Why would you pack much this? The M14 was way better than this, bro. Oh my goodness. Like, it, is it one-shotting in the head? Oh, it is one-shotting in the head. But, like, shotgun one-shots in the head? Like, that is... That's something else right there. Oh, and it still can keep them alive. Because, yeah, in BO1, they had this weird mechanic that happens a lot of the time where you can headshot a zombie and it will still hit you. And still come after you. I feel like that didn't really happen in the later zombie games too much. You know? Okay, let's worry about the PM63s. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they shoot so fast that it literally disorientates the middle of your screen. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm literally almost out of ammo with these things. So yeah, let's get that. Let's get that insta. Who's still left here, bro? I can't see. It's just all this Nova gas, bro. Okay. Nice, we knifed them. There we go. Okay, so we're very close. Yeah, honestly, I'm just going to get rid of these weapons. Let's just get the unpacked at this point because 
PM63, Hades, this ain't gonna cut it, bro. MP40, I do remember this turns into the afterburner. I've never packed much of the stake out for as far as I can remember. I mean, I must have at one point, but I really don't know what the name of it is. So, listen, the stakeout is a fire shotgun. How's the MP40 on double points? Uh, double tap, it's actually not bad. Not bad. Definitely, yeah, this is one of the weapons you do want double tap for. I mean, just because the damage is so slow and the fire rate is... Uh, the damage is low and the fire rate is also low. One of the greatest point weapons... But definitely not good for taking them out, for sure. Yeah, I think Kino probably would have been way more iconic if the MP40 was there and the M16 swap. But I feel like they did that on purpose. Ooh, get me out of here. Ooh, I got hit there too? That was a long-range hit. Okay, 10k. Yeah, unfortunately though, even though this gun is doing bad... I feel like it won't do much better pack punch. That is just kind of the worst thing. The stakeout, maybe? Honestly, like I'm telling y'all, the the shotguns in BO1 and BO2, for the most part, were absolutely terrible. I'm going to throw a bunch of nades here. Let's see. Oh, the light there is blocking the nade trajectory. Boy! What are you doing over there? Get out of there! Stop the madness, bro! Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my guns. Let's go. So yeah, MP40 and stakeout. I mean, that's an easy six and seven here. Let's do the stakeout. Let's see what this turns into upgraded. I genuinely can't remember. The raid? Raid Shadow Legends? What? That's very strange. Okay, and next one here, MP40. Yeah, the afterburner. Oh, it does actually increase the fire rate. I forgot about that. But look at that. It took forever to kill one zombie. The damage is just horrendous there. MP40 and stakeout are done. We only have four. Oh, no. We have three wall weapons left. The three wall weapons we have are the AK-74U. Oh, we got the Monka W one. Uh-oh. We have the AK-74U, the MPL. Oh, I forgot about the MPL. And the MP5. So listen, they're not good guns, but they're great point weapons. So that is going to be huge for when we have to start hitting the box. Yeah, the stakeout. Listen, it's weird because on BO1, the shotguns I feel like are better for killing anything but the zombies. So like the Nova Crawlers, the dogs. Like that's what the shotguns are really designed for. But when it comes to killing zombies, like why is that not an insta-kill? You know, does not make any sense to me. Here we go, afterburner. Oh, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, oh. I was like, end of round? Nope. It's BO1. You always gotta remember, there's always just some random crawler across the end of the world that you'll never see. Okay, but across the 74U and the MP5. Ah. Uh, Okay, so the MP5, let's see. MP5 is in that room, but the MPL and the AK-74U are over here. So you know what? I'm going to wait on the MP5. I'm going to wait until I see the bad box luck because once I know the bad box luck, then having an MP5 as a spare point gun will be very, very nice. It'll be, it'll be really quality. So I am, I'm incredibly excited for that. Um, oh, don't get me trapped here. Don't get me trapped. Don't get me trapped. Don't get me trapped. Let's go. Nice. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of curious. Okay. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I was like, dude, did, am I playing a modded version when I get like five perks? I was like, are we sure though? And uh, uh, it's so funny, dude. The way that life is, dude. Okay, I am spamming this in. Yeah, this thing is terrible against the zombies. Even when you're going for the headshots, it doesn't even land. Like, 
What? Are you sure? Okay. Almost out of ammo on here and the MP40. Okay, we gotta get to 10k fast. Oh, I don't think we're actually gonna... Yeah, okay, you know what? I take everything back that I said. Well, let's go for MP5. I'm out of ammo on this thing. MP5 will get us the, wep uh, the points that we need here. This is huge right now. Okay, 9k. We almost have enough for that 10. But I also have to remember, we have to buy the MPL. You know what? Let's do MP5 MPL. Let's get these guys out of the way here. MP5 MPL is a, just a trash combo. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, 10k on the dot. Let's go for the MPL though. We'll get that other... We'll get back to 10k fast. But yeah, I'm telling you, we're not going to be getting it with the stake out here, bro. This thing does not make points. Yeah, it just sucks, because, like, I get why they made the shotguns like this and Yo, the snipers zombie. in this game. But I feel like it was just all for naught. 1k points with the MPL, this is easy. I can do this with this many zombies, without a doubt. No other zombies game could you get 1k off of, like, six zombies. I'm going to rebuild the barrier here. And then let's go, let's do, let's do 8 and 9, man. Honestly, I don't pack much the MPL or the MP5. Oh, the MP5, I remember, is the M115 Collider? Something like that. So that I do remember. Um, let's, um, let's upgrade everything here. Alright. End round? Down to the last bullet we have to end round, bro. Okay, here we go. Oi! Every time I'm like, bro, the portal's ready, bro. <laughs> Go! I have the MPL and P5. I'm actually not going to make it if they start spawning. It's round 22 and I'm running around the unpacked MPL and P5. Please stop. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, man. Nice, nice, nice. We're in it. We're in it to win it. Okay. MP5 is going in quick. That is number eight. What was this one? MP115 collider. I was so close. I just forgot the P. And our ninth weapon being the MPL. What is this weapon turning? MPL LF? Again, not no, I don't know many people who upgrade these weapons. Unironically, because even them upgraded is disgusting. This is just terrible, bro. Okay, anything here? No, oh, I still have the disc. I always forget. Remember, this is Keto to Toad, man. This is not a 500 step Easter egg, bro. Come on now. Okay. MP5 and MPL is done. Our last wall weapon is the AK-74U out in the alley. It'll be easy to get that one. It's really now going to depend on the box weapons because you can get a lot of the wall weapons in the box too. So we just need to make sure that I'm not wasting points. But... That's the other thing with these challenges, and I said this in my World at War video, these challenges can last like an hour or two hours or three hours. It really depends on how lucky you are. It really does. Wow, the MPL is holding up. I'm shocked. I'm actually like able to survive with this MPL. I'm genuinely shocked right now. Uh, I'm going to buy the AK-74 And then we'll see how things go. And then we'll see how things go. Ooh, get me out of here. I'm not barging my way through there with the MPL. Ain't no way, buddy. Ain't no way. Okay. Let's go. Let's kill these crawlers. Ooh, big max. Okay, actually, now... Okay, now I have the max. We don't need to grab the AK. That was a huge max. But let's just waste all of the ammo here. That is the nicest thing about getting to the wall weapons first. It builds the points up for you to grab the box weapons. And that is just the way to be. Oh my gosh. Let's go, man. Okay. I'm throwing the nades. Listen, we gotta use everything to get points here, bro. I got an MPL MP5, bro. I'm not gonna be making this. 10k points on the rip. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna grab as many points as I physically can with these weapons because this is gonna be the only way it happens. There we go. MPL's about to be out. There we go. MP5. Give me, give me, give the last of what you got, brethren. 
Hey, okay. Right to AK 74, you we go. The box is at the MP5 room, though. Well, give me a dog round. Yes. Oh, the box is right here, actually. Okay, let's just, let's just hit it. First box hit with AK 74, you. Galil! Great weapons. Great weapons. Great weapons to get out of the way. I am so. You know what? I am not complaining about that. Galil is a great point weapon. It'll serve me well. But yeah, let's get through this dog round. I don't really care about the max ammo here because, I mean, I'm just going to be pack punching. And this time, I'm going to remember to put the reel in. I, I wish I had my chat here to just spam me to put it in. Nah, I got to do it myself, bro. I want to I wanna record this to show you guys that this is not just pre-recorded, but I know what I'm up to. Okay. 11.5k on the dome on the rip. Get that pad core linked. And the round easy, easy. Yeah, the max ammo is really for the grenades, if anything. <laughs> Here we go. Portal in now. Yeah, AK-74U. This is obviously the AK-74FU2. These are just the classic names, yeah. The Galil, the Lamentation. Yeah, see, I remember a bunch of these. I do remember a bunch of these, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, there we go. Oh, I forgot to anymore. put the number up here. That is up to 11 there, which is beautiful to see. And yeah, dude, the custom reticles. Man, you don't see this type of attention to detail anymore. I'm going to throw all these nades while they're stacking up. Get the last one. No. Oh, well, oh, am I going to die? What happened to that nade, bro? What the heck? It's so funny, bro. Okay. Yeah. The, the nicest thing about the Galil is it is a great point weapon for killing zombies and also for getting points. Like, it's like the best of both worlds. Uh, and if, dude, honestly, we're getting lucky on our double points. I don't know if we're getting lucky or if I, I'm just getting them at the right times here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Give me some more ammo on that clip. And these guys are done, skis. Sheesh. Hello? Who's hitting me? I can't, I can't even see. It's too dark. We're people are playing King Order. Don't block. Black Ops 1, best zombies map. Chaos like Silence. Super. I'm dead. <gasps> oh, no. That's a huge down. I have to grab all my perks here. That's down number two with 11 weapons out of the way. Can I make it out of here? Oh, now, this I? was this is one of the worst areas to be in Kino. Okay. I have to be very... Oh. Oh, this is not good. This is actually really bad. Oh. Wow, what a clutch. What a clutch. Oh, that one had me tense. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. We're going for Jug immediately. And I think it's our last QR. Oh, and I said we get Mule Kick if I down again. We're getting we're getting Mule Kick. Because we're out of all the wall weapons that are bad, I do think it would be better to get Mule Kick. Even if I have to hold an extra weapon. Ooh, this made this way more difficult. And yeah, we'll probably have to spend one extra round now grabbing points. Thank you, Quick Revive. Get me out of here. We're going to go for Speed Cola, too, around the top. Yeah, the weirdest part about the way that BO1 works is that a lot of zombies will just remain slow and be very slow. Let's buy Beal Kick as well, and then we'll go for Speed Cola. Yeah, I'm, I went from, like, 12k points to 1k buying all these perks. Um, and yeah, I guess with this extra 1k, why not spend it and get it the box, bro? <laughs> Let's just waste all of our points at this point. I don't know if the reticle camo changed when I down, but I don't remember it being that. Or how about ADS? Wait, is this one the same? Oh, it is the same. Okay, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. It's all right. Let's hit the box. Yeah, uh, the box is really going to give us some great point weapons, which is why I'm so glad I saved it for later. But now that we have three weapons, we're actually going to zoom through these fast. Let's see what I get for my next one, and that will have to pop. Please be a point gun. A HK is a huge gun to grab. Huge gun to grab. Yeah. It's great for points. Not so much for killing, but I can use my pack bunch weapons for that. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to use all the ammo in these before I swap them out. Because now it's just, it's up to the box to determine our future. 
don't want to be in here. This room is so hard to hoard around, and I can't believe there are so many human beings on this earth that have gotten to round 100 on Keynote or Totem with just that fight room, the MPL, and the fire trap. And these traps here as well. But still, the fact is, is that's insane. Okay, so not quite enough points to pop. I am going to get rid of the AK here. I'm going to get rid of it. We don't need it now. It's time to just spam box hits here. And just cycle all these weapons out. Round 25, move kick. i got to be extremely careful. The alleyway is a horrible place to be. Spass, great weapon. Great weapon to get out of the way. I wish I did have double tap though, just for the HK. I mean, that would have been really nice. Just because of the fact that like, yeah, some weapons are exceedingly slow. Did I hit the link? I definitely didn't. Let's see how long it takes to take out these ones. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, it is time to hoard. It is time to hoard. We do not have weapons that kill anymore. Oh my goodness. The hoarding double point. The double points are coming exactly when I need them. He's like, you're on the stage? I got you. Wow. Like, what? I've never had this good luck with double points. Especially on a pop challenge like this. Oh, be very wary. Be very wary. Open up those eyes and be aware, sir. Nice, beautiful max ammo here. It makes me kind of wish I didn't trade out my weapon, but hey, we got double points. Oh, I'm swapping to the... Just give me all the double points. Give me the double points. HK, go! HK, go! <laughs> okay. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to keep this fast. Let's just get rid of all the lamentation ammo. So I can grab another weapon from box quickly and just pack all three of these. Because, yeah, this is getting really hectic here. No more are spawning. Oh, I said... <laughs> Call these zombies, but be like, no more are spawning. Five zombies just leap out of the same window. Oh, yeah, we do have to link it to the core. Good thing I'm here. Oh, dude, yeah, I have to be extremely careful that I don't just die. Okay, 16k on the rip. I just have a really bad feeling we're going to get a terrible box weapon and I'm not going to be able to cope. So that's why I'm like, dude, maximize all the points I can get out of this thing right now and then test my luck with the box. Okay, yeah, we're down to our last few here. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, okay. Nice. Yeah, let's just leave that one zombie. Let's go hit box and we're gonna pack a bunch literally three weapons off the dome here The HK the spas and whatever I swap out this Galil for needs to be a point gun needs to be not heavy too, like a commando or foul The crossbow I mean, you know what the crossbow is a great weapon to have for this because it is literally the monkey bomb distractor for people that are watching this for the first time have never seen the crossbow upgraded so this thing is terrible let me just show you crawler right it's not even gonna kill the crawler yep one two shots to kill the crawler absolutely abysmal but imagine the pack punch version literally just being a monkey bomb that lasts way longer so you know what let's do it three weapons out of here we're going from 11 to 14 yeah, the awful lot is also going to be incredible for just shooting the nades down up the top here. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, awful lot. One of the greatest wonder weapons from Black Ops 1 that should have been brought back, to be honest. Spaz upgraded. What does this turn into? The Spaz 24. Basically the same. And then the HK is the Oscillator. Something Oscillator, I remember. See? Yeah, H115 Oscillator. Yeah, just remember anything Oscillator. Anything 115, anything with big words that you've never seen except for the, the thesaurus. I mean, that's what it's all about there. But yeah, you'll see because I shot that crossbow shot, it's going to take them quite some time to come to me now that I've gotten to the path, which is beautiful. Like, this is just the way it should be. Ah, yes. Now, let's see how good this pass is. For a fully auto shotgun, especially comparing this to Cold War, this is bad. 
I mean, dude, that reload was crazy fast. Oh, wait, you only have to reload once for it to fully... Really? Oh my god. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I don't remember that. You only have to literally put in one pellet for all of them to be reloaded. That is a little bit wild, dude. Okay. Well, yeah, Spaz is basically done. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, it's basically done now. It's kind of trash. I mean, well, that's the spaz. Uh, let's go in another box gun here. I'm going to leave a zombie too. Ooh, insta-kill. Yeah, see, this is the nicest part. If we got all of them out here and I just shoot one of these into an insta-kill, they all die. Like, that's beauty right there. Spaz. L96A1. Listen, we needed a sniper rifle eventually. Let's get some quick scopes on insta-kill here. Yeah, it had to happen. I'm glad we got it sooner than earlier, though. Another insta kill. He's like, yo, go off. We want to see you quick scope. Okay, we quick scoping. I hope I don't die like this, though. Ooh. Ooh. The Black Ops 1 quick scoping was wild. Yeah, let's just whip this out. Get rid of all the zombies here. This is how it works when you have a fully auto gun and insta kill. You just spray and everything dies. It's beautiful. Let's knife this guy. Like this guy is that round a eh, you know what i'm gonna see if i can hit the box again because we actually might be able to do two pack bunches here i'm gonna keep the awful lot i think i'm this is the weapon that's worth keeping because it literally just makes it way more difficult for you to down the cz's we needed to do this too i know you will never see any human being get rid of the upgraded hk for dual wield cz 75s but ladies and gentlemen this is the life we are living in and we love the awful lot for what it's able to do oh it can glitch out though as you just saw that was almost bad that was almost bad let's see how many points i can get with these yeah we do need points so i gotta i gotta spam it bro i don't know if y'all can hear my mouse and keyboard but i'm going i'm doing there's our double pack points. 10,000 points. Wait, is this really round? No way. What? Where did all the zombies go? This is the shortest round 27 ever, that was it. Yeah. Well, we're going to go pack bunch these. I got to, of course, link the pad. This is not Kino to Fulton without linking the pad. I'm going to throw these nades too. We'll grab more nades at the top later. I'm gonna shoot that just in case I die here. Yeah, that was a great shot. Yeah, the awful lot is amazing. It is literally, I'm telling you, it's honestly, I would literally, listen, if I were rank every weapon in Keen Order Toten, the awful lot, I think, would actually be above the ray gun. It would actually be above the ray gun. It's literally, like, look how useful that was. That was so useful. I mean, I really can't believe that. Let's go. Pack punch. Let's get us in here. CZ75 dual wield are off the board. Listen, I know there's a single version variant of it, but hey, we're not going to do it. CZ's is done. And so that's the Calamity and Jane. We all know that one. And the L96A1 is also out. Let's see what we get here. I forgot, wait, what was it called? The L115 Isolator. Okay, again, with the 115. Everything 115. I mean, it is Kino to Totem. But dude, yeah, it is. The, the snipers can one-shot. You just need to aim. You need to have better aim than I do. And they're, like, dude, they're not bad. Like, it, it's surprising because this sniper on round 27 is usable. It's a viable option. It is a usable, viable option. It's light. As long as you just don't spend too much time aiming in. Like, you really have to quick scope in my opinion. But if you do it well, you can survive. It's definitely not a round 100 weapon, but hey, I mean... It's like a round 20 to 30 weapon, I would say. But yeah, I do believe the Dragonov is better. Also, like, if we're comparing it to Call of the Dead and Killing the George, Dragonov is the best weapon in terms of damage, a damage per second. For DPS, like, it outputs the most amount of damage, and you can basically just spam it, which is beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to be using this for round 28, so I am going to get rid of it here. I'm going to use all the ammo. But yeah, dude, very surprising to see L96 is holding its own 
and we are also over half of the total weapons pack which it's crazy that also goes to show you that literally like 80 percent of all the weapons are in the pack bunch. We got the Calamity and Jade here. This thing is terrible right now. Round 27 CC 75s. I mean, it's great for points, but it's so bad. I mean, yeah, let's just li I guarantee you, we're gonna use all the ammo killing all the zombies this round. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we have so many crawlers, too. <laughs> oh, these things are great. I mean, I love the fully auto. I just wish they had a damage buff. This needs a damage buff. Granted, they are pistols. Like, you can't be too mad. But, I mean, what the heck? There's all two weapons. There's all two of my bullets. Yeah. Awful lot is getting shot, and I'm getting the literal heck out of here. Yep. I mean, it do it, it's a little bit slower. It's a little bit slower, I would say, than the monkey bomb for the L115. Because even if you shoot it, they can still down you. And, like, the game can glitch and you can still... I've seen people die by that on 5, like, when they're on, like, round 200. That would literally piss me off so hard if that was the case. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use all the weapon here. We only got about 40-ish shots. Like, honestly, just get rid of all of them. Use all of the ammo. Because we are low on points right now. 9k, let's hit for the box. Get rid of CZs. Get rid of... Like, Drop yeah, the L115. I mean, we probably should have gotten this a little bit earlier in the run, but hey, I'll take it. Let's hit the box now. Yeah, I gotta make sure I'm keeping up to date with which weapons I pop. Dragonov, the other sniper. We needed it eventually. Let's do it. Honestly, I might just solo pop it here. The Python. Yeah, two weapons we both need. And honestly... I'm actually gonna you know what I I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bet I believe that I can survive round 28 with the unupgraded Dragonov and the unupgraded Python but I'm gonna upgrade them I'm gonna upgrade them during the round let's also get the portal ready so I could just dip at a moment's notice this has got to be a dog round right yeah I was about to say I haven't had a dog round in a while maybe I don't need to worry about it then and I also keep forgetting to put in the reel I said I was gonna do it last time Remember, remember, every time I play zombies, I just forget the most obliviously obvious things ever. Okay. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Wow, the Python is literally better than the M16 against the dogs. That's what I'm saying. Some weapons are for the dogs and the creeper crawlers. Some are not. It'll be interesting to see if we pack punch all the weapons on all the BO1 maps. Like, which weapons will be better for certain weapon or enemy types, like the monkeys on Ascension, or uh, the Napalms and the Shrieker on Shang, or the Moon Guy, you know, or George. You know, Call of the Dead had a great variety, man. Great variety. 2k points. I mean, we'll be able to do this easily with the Dragonov and Python here. I'm just going to hoard up for a bit. Almost at round 30. Like I said, my highest round was round 30 when I was a kid with the Ray Gun and the Thunder Gun. I haven't even seen the Ray Gun in the box yet. <laughs> What maturity does to a human being? This is evolution right here. <laughs> this is the round 100 evolution. I mean, truly, you can't get much crazier than this, man. 1,500 points. We're almost there. Yeah, the Python, the worst part is the reload. I mean, once we fix the reload portion, it'll be, it'll be way, way better. Oh, come on now. 1k. Once we get the dragon off, I can take out all these guys from the top. I just... See that last 1k, boys. I could... I'm also gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to throw my nades as well at the top. This would be the more opportune time also to buy claymores, but honestly, I am... I need to be greedy with the points here. Here we go. 10k. Get me in there. Nice. Okay. Our 17th weapon is the Python. What this one turns in, I can't remember, to be honest. The Cobra. Yeah, it was really good in BL2, I remember. Even. And our 18th weapon here is the Dragonov, the D115 disassembly. Just put 115 and call it A. There's all the nades, and then we'll shoot the sniper. Hey. Yeah, the fully auto makes this thing 
very nice. I wish it had a little bit more ammo, obviously, and even more clip ammo would be nice. I, I forgot the reel! I was right there! I was literally about to put it in. You need to believe me on that. Oh, I was literally about to pull it in, man. Oh my gosh, man! You've got to be joking me. Okay, well... I mean, yeah, let's get through this round here because now we're gonna have to hit for box. I think for sure now we need a point gun We need a point gun. I also need to be careful if I need to whip out the awful lot I can remember I can whip out the awful lot Here we go Remember the awful lot is your best friend the carpenter is also your best friend I'm dead no no way! This is so difficult, dude. Oh my gosh, and I have barely any points. And I think I'm out of quicker vibes. I have to use no quicker vibes. Oh no, I should have shot the awful lot. What weapon did I lose? Python doesn't matter. Thank goodness I didn't lose. Please don't tell me that kills me. Thank goodness I didn't lose the awful lot, though. Okay. Nice, big jug. I believe this is still winnable. It's still possible. I'm gonna have Jug, Speed Cola. Uh, I don't really have a point gun now though. That's the worst part. I lost my... I lost the Python. No, dude. Well, at least I upgraded it too. And hey, we only have 12 more weapons left. Right now, it's mainly just gonna be how lucky we get from the box. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use all this ammo, then we're gonna hit box. Is box at the same spot? It's definitely gonna teddy bear too, isn't it? Oh man. I'm considering maybe just grabbing a point gun off the wall and just hoping for the best here. I have jug though, so we should be alright. I just can't go into any corners. Dragon off ends round 29? No way. I mean, I did say I would end the round at the beginning of this round, and we're about to. This is a great gun. It's just. Too bad it is a literal sniper rifle. Okay. Ten bullets. Yeah, we need the box here. We need the box. There's a lot of creepy crawlers. Yeah. Okay, we're out of ammo on this thing basically. We used it up. Oh, let's use it up all the way here. Easy three shot kill there. Some extra points. Yep, you're right. Honestly, the greatest thing I could hit out of the box right now would be RPK. Or Og, or Commando, or Foul, anything that just gives me points. And I'm gonna grab Double Tap here, actually. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's grab Double Tap, and let's accept whatever the fate is on my next gun. And then that'll be that. That'll be that. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so nervous. Hopefully, also, if the box goes in the top left area, I'm literally screwed, because I don't have it open. Anywhere but there, please. Anywhere but there. Please! Please! Oh, nice. Right here. Let's go. Please, a point gun. A point gun. Or a thunder gun. Or a point gun. Not this fast. That's Time not what we need. Well, let's use it. It will make me enough money to buy it. This is what I'm telling you, bro. Now it's getting dirty and dangerous. Because I'm down to the spas on round 30. Unpapped. Really makes me sad that I got rid of some of those pack punch weapons like the HK-21 when it was fully pack punch with all that ammo. Criminality, I'm telling you, this is a certified criminality. I'm not even going to go for speed cola. This is straight up box hits at this point. And we're hoarding up until the last zombie here. I need just incredible box luck here and incredible point luck. Like next weapon has to be a weapon that I haven't had before. That's a point gun for me to be able to do this. Okay. I missed when it was pack a bunch and you only have to reload it once. Now I don't even have speed cola. It's crazy how much the power scaling is on even Kino with the pack bunching. We have enough for one box hit. You know what? I'm going to use all my nades here too. Nice. Okay, just give me something good. Please give me something good. Oh, that's a 
little too good. You know what? I'm going to swap out the awful lot. And I'm going to do it. We have the thunder gun now. I mean, do we really even need the awful lot at this point? We should be totally fine now. I just give me a point gun for goodness sake, man. There it is. G11. I'll even take the G11. If we upgrade this thing, I believe it turns fully auto. Oh, that was more than dangerous. But yeah, now it's time to get pack a bunch points, speed cola, all of it, bro. I usually don't down this many times when I play Pina. So I apologize for everybody that's like, bro, you suck penis. I mean, hey, I'm trying. Try not. Yeah, just spam all that ammo. Spam all that ammo. I don't even care. If I get 5k points, I'm instantly pack winning the G11 here. That's literally all I need to do. Just G11 top, and that's it. Let's reload it again. G11, one of the most unique weapons in all of Call of Duty Zombies, in my opinion. Like, when do you see a weapon that looks like this? It's got a scope. It's a three-round burst. It reloads via whatever that is. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Is it a rail? I don't- I genuinely don't know. There is 5k instantly going for that G11. Listen, I don't even care if we're not maximizing. I could upgrade Thunder Gun here, but to be honest, I don't even want to get rid of it. I don't even want to get rid of it. I want to just maximize me points, get the box, and get on out. Because this is where I'm getting bullied for real. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm just gonna spam. I'm gonna spam. I think we have a dog round coming, so it doesn't even matter. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Get me on out of here. Yeah, Thunder Gun just is the reason why everybody wants this map. Let's just be real. Let's be real. Do I really need, even need to say anything about the Thunder Gun? The Thunder Gun is the reason we love this map. So, our 19th weapon, the G11. I'm, I'm thinking G115 something. That's my guess. G115 generator. And there we are, boys. Okay? But yeah, the full auto here is legendary. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's fire nades. I'm gonna throw them. I'm gonna wait to use the G11 ammo until we have a full horde. Because, as you can see, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of ammunition in it. So, I've got to be very, 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 very careful. So, I'm calculating here. I forgot to put the freaking real- I need to make sure I do that before I finish this, this challenge. I need to go to Pack Punch six more times now. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely losing my mind. I always forget the real. Not like it does anything, but I just want to feel like a completionist on Keynote or Total Black Ops 1. Is that too much to ask? Is that genuinely just too much to ask at this point? Oh my goodness, those points. This is what we needed. Yeah, and the reload is so weird. Like, you turn a dial on it. What is this? The Call of Dead Lighthouse, bro? Like, what is going on? Weirdest weapon ever. I would love to see an actual G11 in action, to be honest. I, I would love to see how that looks like. Okay. Yeah, we're almost out of ammo on this thing. So we're going to literally... I'm going right for the box again, I think. Right for box. The last remaining weapons we need... Honestly, a lot of them are fully automatic weapons. Here we go. I'm going to name them out. The Thunder Gun. Well, we have it. Um, we need to do the Ray Gun. The RPK. The M72 Law. The HS10. The FAMAS. The FAL. The Commando, the China Lake, and the Ballistic Knife. And the AUG. And that should be all 11 that we're missing. Let me just count here that I got it correct. I did upgrade the HK. And I did upgrade the Python. So, yeah, let's do this. I need a big one here. I need, I need one that I haven't had. Please. Please. Yes, HS10. That is one I need. Never will you ever hear me say, yes, HS10. <laughs> <laughs> ever again in my entire life let's end the round here but yeah these things are terrible again it's a shotgun oh i might have to use it i'm gonna use a thunder gun here i think what that shot didn't even count what the heck are you talking about okay well hs10 is going in next honestly if this is a dog round that'll be perfect i don't think it is though no dog round's gonna be in a while 
Yeah, this HS10 is absolute caca. So, I mean, I really hope we get a point gun too. And I get enough weapons to like... Oh, this thing is terrible. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to whore them up here for a bit. And I'm going to use the rest of the ammo here. Because I genuinely believe it's going to be that down to the wire. If I get this pap or not. Please. Please do it. Or if I get a point gun after papping this or not. Because I really... I really don't know. I mean, we're getting about 200 points every six shots. Or every clip, I mean. That's not bad. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's start around these guys. Let a new wave come. And let's start it up. So, yeah. HS10 is now going to be done. And that is going to be our 20th weapon. We have gone the farthest we have gone so far on this challenge. The Typhoid and Mary. Uh, beautiful. So, yeah. Our last 10, like I said, are the Thunder Gun, the RPK, the Ray Gun, the M72 Law, the FAMAS, the FAL, the Commando, the China Lake, the Ballistic Knife, and the AUG. Those are our last ones. So honestly, some great weapons, but the reality is, can we even get to them, right? Like, can we even get to them at this point? I don't think so. A thousand kills here. Oh my gosh. And again, I forgot what the dang reel. You can also get it from here. We have it. Oh, the other reels right there. See, you know what? If I would have put in the reel, I could have gotten that one. But no, I'm an idiot. Wow, this thing is terrible. I used, like, almost so much of the ammo. Listen, it was one of the first dual-wheeled shotguns, so I gotta give it the rep where it's due. But, man, is it still so bad. I just fed 16 shots into all those little crawlers, and it barely killed the ball. Like, what did you just say? Yeah, we need... I'm going right for the box. Literally, I'm, I'm running around the map. Oh! Fire sale's huge! Yeah, because we moved the box now, we can't get a fire sale. Honestly, I'm grabbing it. Crossbow... Yep, why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna go hit that other one too. I'm gonna go hit the other one. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the thunder gun if I'm running low, but the fire sales massive. I forgot that fire sales came into BO1. The FAMAS! Hey, let's go. Anything anything else I should grab? Let's just see. G11? Don't need it. Let's go. Nice. So, the FAMAS. It's really bad, unfortunately. I really wish it was better. I mean, there's not many zombies right now, but it's kind of bad. And you know what? We're going to go and pack a bunch of two weapons this time. I am going to pack a bunch of the Thunder Gun. We are getting low on ammo. It is around almost 32 now. It's time. I also probably should get Speed Cola here, too. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay, that was my last shot of Thunder Gun. I have to make sure I don't even get trapped at this point. Oh, this is actually kind of bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hoard them up. I'm gonna hoard them up before they absolutely delete me. But yeah, both of them are here. It's so weird because when you're fully out of the Thunder Gun on BO one, do you see the mag on the bottom left? Like somebody just forgot to edit that out. Damn. I forgot to click the link, didn't oh, I? I'm such an idiot. I'm. Oh no. I'm not an idiot. I'm very smart, man. Okay. I'm remembering to put in the reel this time, too. Okay. Yeah, we literally just have to hoard them until they're all at spawn here. And then head through. Literally no other way we'd be able to do that. Oh, and then this portion with the crawlers. Yeah, you can get stuck there so easily and die. It's just not right. Okay. Our 21st weapon and 22nd weapon is now done. I'm happy with that. The FAMAS, what does this one turn into? Because I think the BL3 version and this one have a different name. Yeah, G16. Like, what the heck was even that? Bro? G116, whatever the heck that was. I accidentally just put the count back to zero. I have to fix that. But uh, yeah, we are actually at 22. So I'm going to just click it 22 times. Let's go, my 22 lovers. Nice. I mean, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some nades. And I forgot the reel because this thing reset, bro. Why do they hate me? They absolutely hate me up in here. Okay. So 
sorry. It's it, it is lagging a little bit, so we're we're counting up to 22 very slowly. But the Flamas is a great weapon for points, man. And you know what? I am at this point. I'm gonna get speed cola. I've been running it for too long. I now have a fantastic point weapon. So I mean, let's do it. And there we are now back to 22. We have eight weapons left. And honestly, one of those weapons is the M72 Law. And I'm not excited about that. Because that weapon is absolute trash. Um, I'm about to end the round. I need to hit the box. Yeah, let's just hit box here. We have one crawler left. So, yeah, good. Nice. Get that out of the way. Didn't want to do that for a round. So, yeah, the last weapons we need are the M72 Law. The RPK we haven't gotten actually either, which is wild. Uh, the ray gun, the FNFAL, the law, the commando, the China Lake, the ballistic. Oh, these are trash weapons. And the AUG. Where were these weapons like 900 years ago? And I just happened to be at the I spot that I needed to be. I'm gonna get bored here. Galil, I'm going to keep this actually just for points. Yeah, I'm going to keep this just for points. Because, listen, we're going to need some serious pointage to get these last eight weapons. These last eight weapons are going to rail me deep here, without a doubt. I'm going for a speed cola, and you know what? I probably should have gone for mule kick, too. I'm going to go for mule kick, too. So, yeah, we can get these eight weapons done in four more pack punch port teleports. If I get mule kick here, which I might as well. I mean, I can't get quick revive anymore. So, let's do it. But yeah, seriously, what a full game this was. Like, dude, I used all my quicker vibes. I used mule kick. I'm pack punching every weapon. Like, I technically beat Keen Order Totem. Honestly, this is what you do to beat Keen Order Totem. It's not get to round 100, dude. It's pack punch every weapon. Use up all your quicker vibes. Do it the way it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, let's hit box two. If it gets bad, if it gets bad, which it will, I'm going to shoot my thunder gun. Monkeys! This is what we needed. A great, great, great addition. Yeah, you never... Listen, I got monkeys back in World of War. I was expecting to get it here. Spass? Nah, let's just let that one slide out so I can use the rest of the Galil ammo. Yeah, we need the AUG and the Commando, bro. I love the BO1 Commando. Shocking to me that we have not seen it yet. Usually it's one of my first weapons on Keynote or Totem. I guess the commando is not having a good day or something. Let's throw the monkey bomb and I'm gonna throw some nades at it too. Let's see what we get here. The ray gun! Hey, the classic. I mean, yeah, you know, we needed to get this eventually. I'm glad that we did. I'm glad that we did. It's going to be nice now because, listen, I get to spam all this ammo and get through this. That took a while. Usually, like, listen, I usually do have better box luck on Kino with the Thunder Gun. But to get the Ray Gun this late into the game, round 32, that's a little wild to me, dude. Um, but, yeah, let's grab Mule Kick here. And then I'm going to hit the rest of the box. The greatest thing about the Ray Gun in BO1 is it actually makes crawlers. Like... Who would have thought it would have legitimately made crawlers? That is insane to me. 5k points here. Okay, that is really for the upgrade of the ray gun. But now I'm gonna now that we have mule kick, I'm gonna spam box and we're going to see if I can get the last remaining eight weapons. Well, seven technically now that we have the ray gun. Well, let's see. Seven technically. Hey, the foul is one of the weapons we do need. So now we just need a quick 10k. And we should be good. Wow, this foul is terrible. What happened? Oh my. Wow, I'm literally about to die. Dude, I actually got anxious there for a sec. I thought I was about to die. What the heck was that? Raygun it is, bro. It is round 30. Not many weapons on Keen Order Totem are going to be sufficient on round 30. But yeah, I mean, okay, let's let's hoard him up, and oh no, dude, I would have 24 weapons there done if I actually got to the pack punch there, and then the 30th, no, 
Dude, I failed every single one of these. Well, GG, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I do next. Should I go on to the next map? Should I reattempt it? I don't know, bro. That is so wild. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. We'll see y'all in the next one.